making some breadcrumbs because we're going to make a meat to go in our meatloaf. I always do this at first. In the freezer, I took out some couple rolls, and this is homemade biscuits. Now you can use loaf bread. A lot of people use crackers. There's all kind of ways you can put uh, the crumbs. You can coat chicken with this stuff. It's just a wonderful thing to keep on hand. those rolls down because they're too big. So beautiful bread crumbs you can use for many different food items. It's really good. It's easy to do. And you can put seasoning in them if you want to season them. Hey, welcome back to South Florida Your Mouth. We're cooking again today. Today we're gonna to do a traditional meatloaf. Might be a southern meatloaf, might be a northern meatloaf, but family it's a traditional recipe. meatloaf from a family recipe from me, Mom. <laughs> so stay tuned. What you're gonna to need to make this meatloaf is right here in front of you, okay? We're gonna use some chopped or diced onion. We're gonna use eggs. We got three of them right now. Heavy whipping cream, Worcestershire sauce, ground breadcrumbs, ketchup, and approximately three pounds of ground sirloin. Also, we're gonna use some salt and pepper. Before we begin, we're gonna do some salt and pepper on our meat on both sides. Just a little bit of salt there, kind of to your taste. I like a lot of pepper, so it's kind of hard for me to lay back on it. And also, we're gonna go ahead and flip that over and do it again. With the free hand. Between hands. We'll be right back with you. We are going to combine our meat into a big bowl. And we're going to try and combine with our hands here to start. We do have clean hands here. Mix it up. We're just going to get in here and you're not as, combining, just listening. As my brother calls it, it's gonna make a little love to it. All right, now we're gonna add some ingredients in here. We're gonna add a cup of onions. This is chopped, diced onions, however you wanna call it. Gonna mix these in a little bit. Okay, then we're gonna add three eggs. Can't make a meatloaf without getting your hands dirty or breaking some eggs. Now we're gonna add some Worcestershire sauce, and you may say that several different ways. Just shake and shake and shake. That's good right there. That's not an exact measurement. A little dab do ya? But it'll be perfect. Adding two cups of breadcrumbs. That we just ground up. Perfect. Not really patting this burgers, I'm just kind of mixing, squishing it and mixing it around together. Combining, there we go. Another cup there. Continue to do that. Adding three fourths cup of ketchup. You can add more or less, depends on how you like it. This is what we like. And this is Heinz ketchup. You can use any brand you want. It doesn't matter. You could even use sriracha ketchup. It would be probably very good. And then we're also going to put in here some heavy whipping cream. All right, we're going to do a quarter cup, one fourth cup of heavy whipping cream. And we might end up using more, we might end up not. We'll have to see if we get this going. You just do right there. I 
That was a slow mo, that was not on purpose. You can flatten it out like this and just make a regular meatloaf. Or you can half it down the middle and actually make it into a loaf. Two little loaves. Two loaves. Two loaves of meatloaf. This really serves easier because you've got something, you know, it's just a regular size piece. It's easier to get out once you start to serve it after you bake it. So just remember that you can make this ahead of time if you'd like, and you can wrap this and put it in your refrigerator for a couple of days. It'd be perfect. You know, if you don't want to cook everything at one time, that's one way to do. This is our meatloaf that we put in the fridge two days ago, and we have now taken it out, and we're letting it sit on the counter and let it, no. let it warm up just a little bit, probably an hour, till we cook it. We have the oven on 350, and we're gonna put our meatloaf in here. It'll take probably uh, approximately an hour, but check your oven because uh, actually 45 to 55 minutes, then we're going to add ketchup on top of it and put it back in there for five minutes. I made a mixture of ketchup and a little bit of uh, pancake syrup, which is maple flavor, maple syrup, and I'm going to put it on the meatloaf now. Temperature is right, it's already done. We'll leave it in the oven another five minutes and then we'll take it up. Stop. Coming out. Coming out. Bum, bum, bum. There's a finished meatloaf. If you don't need this much meatloaf, do the half the recipe that we gave you. This is three pounds, you could do a pound and a half and it would be just like one of these. But it serves well. It's testing of the meatloaf. But it's hot. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. Just mm. like you like? Mm-hmm. Highly recommended. It's perfect. Don't Absolutely. Tea. Enjoy. Thanks, Mima.